I'm going to study um, a Bachelor of Clinical Exercise Physiology at Griffith on the Gold Coast. I plan to study a Bachelor of Physiotherapy Honours at UQ. I am studying a dual degree in a Bachelor of Engineering and Economics at UQ. I am studying at ANU this year, Law and Arts. I'll be studying a double degree in Law and Music at the Australian National University in Canberra. I will be studying a Bachelor of Advanced Business at UQ. This year I'm planning on studying a Bachelor of Biomedical Sciences at the University of Queensland. I'll be studying a Bachelor of Dental Surgery at JCU up in Cairns. I'm going to study the Bachelor of Advanced Finance and Economics at UQ. I'm going to be studying a Bachelor of Arts and Law at the University of Queensland, majoring in Economics and Spanish for the portion of my arts degree. My approach to senior studies basically consisted of making sure I had eight hours sleep every night and making sure to keep my life as balanced as possible with food and friends and exercise. Do the tasks that you find most difficult first and so everything after that seems much more easy and enjoyable. I made sure to keep my lifestyle balanced with seeing friends and playing sports so not everything was about study. My approach to senior studies was trying to stay really organised so staying on top of my timetable and knowing when I was going to actually do my study. It was to keep a summary book as I went along and that really helped me keep accountable with my work as we were learning new content. My attitude towards exams um, was just knowing that I had done the preparation and knowing that ever since year seven I'd been doing exams so I knew what to expect and I knew I could get through it. Honestly, just to make sure you have a really good support network, your family, your friends, your teachers, you're not going to get through any of year 12 without them. Was to rely on my support network and pace myself before the exam. Study with my friends and just find ways to make it fun. The study techniques that I found really helpful was making flashcards, like a lot of flashcards. Um, it really helped my active recall. I use flashcards for like my science subjects and sort of for economics as well to learn like terms that were really important. If you have only a half an hour um, after your extracurricular activities, you should use them wisely because small steps will move you forward. The most important thing that I'll be taking with me from St Aidan's is the skills that I learnt from my teachers in the regard of space design and ethics Olympiad in terms of thinking on my feet, learning how to be confident when speaking and coming up with ideas on the spot. The lovely community of the school and also the knowledge that a good learning environment can help you really achieve your best. The memories that I've made with my friends, those friendships and also the teachers. The spirit of women empowerment I think it's really important to support each other and really help each other out when we're at like difficult times or when we just need a, an extra boost of motivation. From my experience at the school that women can really do anything that they set their minds to. I really liked the whole sense of community we had as a small school and I hope to find that at uni as well. The camaraderie of my grade, we had such a great spirit. We all supported each other. We had a great student leadership team. Everyone kind of meshed really well together. An achievement in my schooling that I'm most proud of is definitely being able to share the success of the team at QG Athletics with my cohort. It was a very special moment for us all. How I developed discipline and my study habits in year 12 because I did not really have those before. That I achieved more than I expected to achieve. I'm proud that year 11 me would have been like so happy that I actually got through it. I was so proud to be house captain. It was such a good role and I had so much fun doing it. I'm proud to receive um, the Ample's Best All-Rounder Year Award for Year 12. I think my gold Duke of Edinburgh in Year 12 and I think that really helped me keep accountable with all my extracurricular activities which helped me balance my social and academic life. Getting into the first eight and maintaining my senior studies while also being able to row and be in things like the Ethics Olympiad. My biggest supporters in my academic studies were my friends and my family and I think that they really helped me to keep on track with all my studies and encouraged me whenever I was having a bad day. All of my friends and my classmates supported me through my academic studies. My biggest supporters would ha definitely have to be my family, 
um, but I was very fortunate to have lots of supporters including friends and teachers. My friends and family and also my teachers. I've been really lucky to have the best teachers. My biggest supporters in my academic career were probably my parents. They were very motivational through my entire senior year. Don't compare yourself to others and stay in your own lane because everyone's progress is different and everyone's speed is different. Make the most of your year, especially the year 12s. Make sure to get involved in events, socialise and just don't take it for granted. Do not limit yourself to the things that you think you're going to be able to do well in. It's good to do something that you might not think you'll do that well in, but you might really enjoy. I really encourage you all to push yourself to reach for the sky.